What's all the buzz about? Well, the return of the Bee Woman plot, of course. You know, that really serious threat to all of humanity that we completely forgot about last episode. By the way, the upcoming character Devorah, the Bee Woman, was totally inspired by these conquest episodes. Seriously, I'm not lying. Anyway, now we're finally gonna see Kriya in her battle with Shao Kahn's Outworld. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, we're gonna see your minions prepare this non-talking extra so she can fuck a beehive out of them. This preparation is very important because we all know you can't get a beehive out of a guy with an unoiled up chest. <sighs> He died happy. Just wish the boom mic had died happy too. Wow, he died. This is such a twist. If we didn't watch the other Bee Woman episode, in which case we're going to be very confused through this whole thing. I guarantee you've never seen anything like it. Okay, a quick look. Oh no, a gold Y! That obviously stands for Kriya, cause, you know, that's the fifth letter in her name. Who's this guy? <laughs> Zero, the greatest customer service representative! Look at this. Korea. What the hell is that or shit? Seriously, show that wasn't a thing in the other episode. So first, you play off something we should know already like it's a twist, then show us something new and act like it's something we should know already. Just wow. Where'd this come from? Why are they treating this guy like he did something wrong? I'm pretty sure he's not a bee woman there, guys. You know, just a hunch I got. Oh. Oh no, he doesn't quite fit the profile, and it'd be really nice if they at least told us what this was and why it meant Kriya so clearly. Is it possible? Kriya back in Earthrealm? Do you know that she ever left? I wasn't aware that a necklace teleportation obviously meant realm hopping, but either way, of course she's still around. We gotta move fast. We only have a couple days before her children are born. Good thing Kriya was on break too last episode, or she might have a bunch of them while you were all busy being self-righteous morons. How many have we lost? Most of the hives in Outworld have been destroyed. Waking up Shang Tsung's former master didn't help with our battle at all! The hives in Earthrealm are crucial now. I thought she had to meet with someone from a certain realm in order to take it over. Ah, oh, just whatever. And wait a second, Khan has seriously defeated all the bee women you produced from a thousand hives? You are sure you're a warrior race, right? Remember, daughter, always look for your next ally to be an enemy of your enemy. Ooh, who could Kriya's stupid new alliance possibly be with its reptiles? Sure you know what you're doing with that stuff? Pretty simple, really. Just gotta get the proportions right between the sulfur, nitrates, and charcoal. Well, okay then. Zero, the greatest Mortal Kombat rocket scientist! Now it's no wonder he went on to play a rocket scientist in Santa's summer house. He displayed the skills in this conquest episode. One of these little babies here will blow Kriya's nest sky high. <laughs> this baby will blow up the baby. But seriously, Kung Lao, Taja, Zero is playing with explosives. Run! Be careful you don't blow us up first. Don't worry, Kung Lao. I am steady as a rock. New toys? <laughs> oh, Raiden, you almost murdered the main cast. <laughs> so, um, why didn't you? Cute, Raiden. Cutality! Sometimes I wonder whose side you're on. Earth's. Which I don't want to see destroyed. Zero made a bomb good enough to destroy the planet? This is for Kriya's destruction. She got back in here somehow. I suspected it. She'll be trying to establish nests wherever she can now. Like this place she had already done so once. Yeah, you definitely should have seen this coming. 
it's just too bad that her illegal invasion of the Earth realm isn't against the rules, Stell. What would you do if you were losing too many soldiers in a war? What she's doing, replenish my losses with new fighters. What else? What else could she do to buy time while she's creating more warriors? Find an ally. Everybody pays Ciro, he wins today's quiz. Ciro, the Mortal Kombat Quiz Master! What is going on? Who she teamed up with? I don't know. I could look and find out, but that would involve doing something to protect the Earth other than giving you cryptic information. Thanks for the update. Mm hmm. Happy. Happy hive hunting! Personally, I would have went with happy baby slaughtering, but still, it's a decent assy raiden line. So as Ciro goes to make a little baby boom, one of Reptile's race named, uh... He's called Reptile. As are all his people. Right. Reptile, but not the real Reptile, has a battle with Ciro. And Daniel Bernhardt is back in action for his fight scenes in this episode, so it looks much better than the super pointless one in Korea. This is also where the Super Zero Dodge skills come into effect. Really now, how much do both Tomas and Kung Lao suck to not have been able to dodge that super slow reptile acid spit when Zero pulls that one out? Zero the- Not again! We've already had three this episode! But even though Zero can dodge an acid spit at point blank range, he's not quick enough to get away from... The floppiest branch ever. You're really gonna sell that that injured you, Ciro? Could you guys not find anything at least remotely convincing to lay on top of him? You're in the woods. It's not even like you're throwing it at him. Luckily, Ciro is saved by nonsense in the form of that fortune teller Kiri and her girlfriend Anka. You of course remember them now, right? <sighs> Those were the two that tricked Ciro when he's having a pride attack 12 episodes ago into releasing Noob Say Stinky Oil Bot. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna spoil a bit here because of how little sense what they just did there was. Kiri and Anka are not only secretly working with Vorpax, OMG Gas, but they are part of Reptile's race. Which is why they're both named Reptile, right Raiden? So to fool Ciro into thinking they're on his side, they murdered one of their own race and left a beehive completely vulnerable. You could have set up a fake fight and just escaped with Ciro for this trick to work. You really didn't need to kill your own guy and endanger the thing you're supposed to protect. Last time, you tried to have me killed. Well, there was profit in that. From who? Was Noob Stinkbot gonna pay, or was Shao Kahn gonna be so overwhelmed that you accomplished a task by having his own guards killed and freeing someone he had in prison that he'd throw a few bucks your way? I have to destroy that thing. I got a fire going. Here. It's an explosive. I'll trust you to do it, woman that I don't trust. Clearly, I can't just walk over there and do it myself because I hurt my arm. I don't trust myself to handle it. That's why I took it out of the bag and handed it to you. And since I don't trust you so much, I'll trust that you're going to blow up the beehive without even watching. This all makes sense, guys. Seriously, just don't think about it. With them? Yes. Come on, Taja. Am I the only one not getting this here? Kiri, Anka, Noob, Saibot, ring any bells? I... Oh, Taja, you and your continuity. We're just gonna laugh that one off. Of course, Noob Saibot has nothing to do with anything anymore. These two are just reptiles now that kill their own. <laughs> oh, continuity. Kung Lao and his friends must be kept away from the nests from now on. Before, they were welcome to go in our baby hives, but now their past is revoked. Or, or be eliminated. Yeah, that is where I was going with that. Thanks. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, I'm not a doctor. Let's just say for now, 
We're friends. Well, you two do kill people and have selfish goals, but it's not like you make people temporarily sick with the aim of getting rid of an evil warlord, so I guess we can work together. Aw, Conquest, was that really necessary? I'll answer that. No, it wasn't. Why would a bunch of reptiles just be horribly CGing in the rain anyway? I guess they're just not invited to the Elder Council of Reptile, 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 and Reptile. Uh, I'm noticing a trend here, Conquest. You really need to think of something else for your bad guys to be doing besides cluelessly sitting around on a throne before a scene starts. The real reptile is the leader of the Zentaran people and has made an allegiance with Kriya because, as it turns out, sometimes people are a little peeved after you merge their realm with Outworld. This is truly showing us why old Shao is so efficient with the bee women slaying when apparently no one on his side is actually loyal. Well, except Raiko, but that's really more like minus one. Some of us have weakened, I fear. Be very careful of what you say. Someone has to say it. Damn, Reptile's a dick to Reptile. Now, in council, a woman speaks for you? You dare say that to your commander? My allegiance is to Shao Kahn, not her. Shao Kahn is not their ruler! Who said that? That wasn't Reptile's or Reptile's voice. That really seems like something you'd hear in a rough cut where it's just a placeholder before they get the actual actor to dub in the line, but it's just so conquest to leave something like that in. Do you hear a woman's voice now? Well, I certainly didn't hear yours a second ago! Crispy. An efficient system of settling disputes. Yeah, peace through tyranny works forever. Ciro realizes with his arm hurt, he has to dress up as Raiden and stock up on onions before he can go out. Cause that vesty coat helps his arm? I'm the real Raiden. We need to find out for sure that this is the last nest. Okay, how do we capture an invisible warrior? We make him become visible. Show yourself immediately, or I will inform Kriya that you have abandoned your post. Ah, of course. If Taja doesn't wear her little see-through shirt over her leather bra thing, she's in perfect bee skies. Your report for the Queen now. Huh, I'm slightly suspicious that you just pulled a knife right in front of my face. Oh, I don't know how I possibly didn't see that coming. While I'm fine with Taja still being pissed about Tomas's death, and it's actually kind of nice to have a little continuity, it's also a little hollow when you hadn't mentioned him at all before this episode. I can't believe you killed that reptile, Taja. That's too far. Now let's blow up these babies. How do you question someone that spits acid? You gag him so he doesn't spit, but then he can't talk. You let him talk, and he melts your face off, so now, which way were you planning to go with that? She has a point there. He agrees? About the questioning. I just wanted to kill them all, since there are millions. There are millions? Unless they are as competent as the elite bee women, how did their realm ever fall to Shao Kahn? Tell her, Raiden, give her the speech. And which one is that? The one you've given me a dozen times? The rage will eat you alive. Revenge won't bring back the dead. Oh, that speech. No need, really. You pretty much covered it. That's our raiding! Oh, you are turning me on! By the way, that's not even a joke. We're very different. You and I. Are we? I think inside. We both very much want the same things. My queen, 
Yes. Varpax, how dare you cock block sexy times with this hunky piece of CGI meat? Blew it up, huh, Anka? That's it. Oh, my arm! It's going up this time. It's almost like I should have made sure earlier or done it myself, but I couldn't clearly with this injured arm. Now watch me do it with my injured arm. Fatality. Fatality. How do you do it? Uh, how do you think clearly through rage? Well, actually, I let the rage take a hold of me when it's my episode to have it, and then I just pass it on to either you or Ciro for the next one. Now time for that nonsense reveal. Not even so much the fact that they kill their own when they're on the same side, but they transform into the same form they were in anyway, but just wearing different clothes. I understand at least sort of the reptiles transforming from their CG to human state, but what the hell sense does clothes transformation make? Why would they even do it? They didn't need to do that to fight the other dopey reptile guard. The wise continue as Ciro, the only one who can apparently successfully dodge an acid spit, pushes Kung Lao out of the way. See? That's how you do it, Tomas. You don't try to block it with your face. This also kind of raises the question of why the plan wasn't just acid spit them the moment they walked through the door. Or do you not know that attack unless you switch to green ninja mode? Kiri has also now accidentally killed her girlfriend, whatever. She was crazy as of this episode and probably would have blown herself up soon anyway. And you also saved my life. Thank you. I'm glad I could make it in time. Uh, you wanna try saying that again, Ciro? Like you actually mean it? I'm grieving. You know that. For your lost... Friend. Touching stuff here, and we can't just flat out say you two were gay together, cause television was much stupider about that in 1999. We're allies now, Vorpex. We could be close allies. I'm sure you could bring me comfort. Look, it's not even about being lesbians. It's just that bees and reptiles don't belong together. Oh man, this show is gonna piss off the bee tiles. To await my queen. And where is she? Fighting our war. In her own way. Ooh, does that mean she's actually gonna go fight Shao Kahn? <laughs> no, it means she's gonna have sex again, of course. We'll make many armies. Yes, I know what happens to your other mates. It won't happen to me. No, not to you. Whew. Good thing this episode turned itself around. The B-Tiles can now praise this show's acceptance of their culture. We defeated two armies and we don't even know if we got them all. Well, that certainly is the heroic spin on Blew Up the Cradle. This is again the problem of how Conquest handles this. It's a really dark thing to have the main characters do. It might be necessary, but you really have to make it meaningful. You can't just glance over. Over it. Kriya, Shao Kahn, Shang Tsung. How about Kiri, another cold-blooded reptile? Someday, I'll kill them all. Uh, how do you think clearly through rage? Yeah, that's right. Now that Taja is over her stupid dead Tomas because Raiden said, don't get too mad, yo, it's Kung Lao's turn. Sure, this would have been better if it had been an arc with him having had to make these dark decisions lately, leading to Master Cho seeing the similarities between him and Shang Tsung, but just randomly being super pissy at the end of this episode is pretty good, too. Next time on Conquest! <laughs> oh boy. This is an episode I've looked forward to covering ever since I started the Conquest videos. Quan Chi and Mika morph into Ciro and Taja so that they can have sex as those two to confuse Kung Lao.
no speeches, huh? Just a few of my clever words. Remember them, please. 